Welcome to How to RC. I've glued my floats onto the flying W, and I thought maybe it would be a good idea in hindsight to show you how I cut the V's. That's about what the V looked like. So it cuts right along here, and actually over here, and let's say it cuts it that long. So I suppose you could try to do it with a knife, but the knife's not going to go deep enough, especially over here, to do it. So maybe you could start with the knife. Just put it down there, guess at the angle. Foam's tearing a little bit. Uh, the next choice would be a hobby knife, and that works pretty good because you can get down in here and get this knife, uh, the blade started on the correct angle and on the correct path, and then you can come down almost far enough. Looks pretty good. And then we got to do it over here. Same thing, we're going to cut down along the angle here and along this line. Get it all lined up real nice. Oops, it's veered off because I'm in the middle of the table. I'm going to try that again. If at first you don't succeed. And we can do that, and I suppose I could force the uh, top of the blade down in there. The other alternative is a serrated blade, a steak knife. This is a nice thin steak knife that uh, works really well with foam. So I know I can get in here. Oh, see it pop? And make that cut. And pop. Take this little bit out here. Put some of your Gorilla Glue in there. And spritz some water on here. And uh, put the float on there. Or get both of them ready prop up the back end of the plane with something and set the plane on here and, and then put some weight in here. Get it all set up like this and put a weight here. And try to make sure that the floats are parallel to one another. I got, I got pretty close. It's kind of interesting though with something that flexible to try to, try to make sure that the floats are parallel. Uh, we got our, the, the plywood on the nacelle for mounting the motor. Although I haven't figured out what I'm going to put the motor on. The next thing to do is the piece of Depron that goes from here back. And it, it's kind of a tricky deal unless you want to stand there and hold it all day. So what I'm, oh, what I'm going to do is, I put some uh, packing tape on here and I ran it up the back of the float. So what I'm going to have to do is cut it off, but just where this uh, piece of depth bronze is going to hit. I don't have to cut it all off. I'm just cutting it slot in the tape to allow the glue to adhere the Depron to the, to the float. So, alright, I'm going to spritz that with water and spritz the whole fuselage here. There's what Oh, there goes the cap. 
Then I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue on here. I'm not going to get all the way to the very top. This is going to go in here like this. I'm not doing all the way to the top, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm putting my glue on here. It may foam up and fill that gap. That was just a piece of scrap that didn't have a corner. No big deal. This is just a skid. And I'm not going all the way to that point either. And here's why. Instead of holding this in place for a half an hour or so until the glue foams up, I'm going to use a little foam safe CA. I'm just going to put a little. Come on. Looks like I got to open up the tube. Yeah, here we go. Put a drop there. And drop there. Grab my zap. My zip picker here. Put this right up against there. And spritz it with kicker. Hold it for a minute. Not like in a minute, just a few seconds. I'll go down here to the other end, and uh, look at that, it got off sideways and left some glue on the wing. And I'm going to just spritz this end with a little kicker, and it'll stay there while the Gorilla Glue foams up. And I don't have to sit there and hold it. Worked just fine on the other one. That one looks good.